Um, as of press release a few days ago, and I, I just found out recently that the uh, sorry about that uh, that Bandai has announced the latest P Bandai kit, which happens to be the Type D uh, A2. So I know you guys are probably set, they, you guys sent me messages already letting me know this, and yeah, I I'm, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. I said, well, what are you gonna do about it? That's not where this was, but it was it was bound to happen, you know. Who knows what uh, what ideas the uh, people at Bandai were thinking at that time, like oh. We have a plenty of cool ideas to come out with this kit, if it's successful. And that's the one thing about, about, um, about Bandai's, um, thought process of make, of releasing this kit, of releasing specific kits that we all like. It is go, it goes based on popularity. In Japan. Uh, every now and then they do these surveys and they say, oh, what do you think we should be releasing, you know? Um, and sure enough, you know, people will go online, they'll tag on something saying, okay, I want the, uh, I want the Master Grade the Zeta, uh, Double Zeta Gundam, uh, but come out of the version Kotoki, you know? Or something from Gundam X, uh, Gundam, um, Turn A Gundam, like the X Gundam. I'm going based on what I'm remembering in the past. And I and remember that originally this was supposed to be an RE kit. Thankfully, they made it as a Master Grade kit. Of course, they made another kit, an RE kit, which doesn't make any sense. But that's something that I will talk about when I get a chance to build that kit. I just hope we don't see a conga line of P Bandai's of the Jagan ver various versions. I mean, okay, you could do it, fine, but Bandai, throw us a bone on something unique and different. Yeah, at least two different types of Jagans would be nice. By the way, if I sneeze, I apologize. The uh, cold weather climate is not that easy. I'm getting a better look at the part colors. You can't barely see very well with the blue in the background, but I'm sorry, with the bag in the background, uh, in the foreground. But yeah, there's some great detail on this. As always, during the course of my build, I will call an audible and change up a color that will fit my needs. Also, um, on a side note, I was at, I was in New York this past weekend for the 5th annual uh, Gunpla meeting, meetup at the Kulu, Kolu, Kolu, am I pronouncing that right? Kolu the dessert restaurant, where um, there were, you know, a lot of Gunpla builders were there, showing off their builds and all that stuff. Uh, I brought my kits as well, just a few. I posted photographs on my Facebook page so you guys can see it. Didn't take no video. Um, wasn't actually prepared for that, or maybe I wasn't in the, I wasn't in that mo in that mental state of doing that. But I did do a live stream on my on my Facebook channel if you guys want to see that. All right, so we got to separate a lot of parts here based on color. Oh, there, that is one thing that I just remembered right now, before I begin cutting this up. Um, during me uh, talking about me painting this, I forgot to mention, what am I going to do, what else on, to, on this game am I going to do? Because I bought a lot of um, metallic parts, metallic photo etched parts. Um, 
am I going to use those on this? Well, that's interesting because I was looking at this kit in, in, in the overall scheme of things. And I have to admit, there's not a lot of areas that I see here that require the photo etched parts that I have. Let's um, take a quick um, overview here. So we have the, the elbows. I'll, I'll definitely review those. We have the uh, leg parts. Understandable. Um, this part here, the grenades, I, I believe I have photo etched parts that will fit right on top of that. So that's good to, to add that. Um, photo etch parts can be put here as well. That's a good idea. Um, the chest, those two vents. That I gotta figure that out too. I may still use these, but I think I may. Well, I have to figure it out. Maybe do it. Can I cut it off and put my own vents there? I don't know. I don't know yet. I will definitely put photo etch parts somewhere around this one because I got something for that. And as for the back end, back area, and unfortunately there's, there's only one small photograph of the back. Even though I was thinking of putting four thrusters there, I may end up keeping those thrusters the way it is. But I may try something here. Now, I do have... Let me show you. I do have this product here. Um, let me zoom in so you guys can see this. So this is a flat bottom cutter bit. And how this whole thing works is these are photo etched tool parts. And they come in various um, size and dimensions. So this is um, 0.1 millimeter, 0.15, and it goes all the way up to 3. And what it does is uh, you, you, I guess you put a little hole in the area you want to begin um, you know alignment and then you take there's a little a little notch there that you stick in that hole and then you begin turning it and that begins making a perfect circle of the of the size dimension you want so that will make the three the three millimeter um, size of the, of the hole so you could put a photo edge part or anything in there um, I was actually pulling out my HQ parts of photo H parts that I've picked up along the, along the way, and I know I have more. Um, here's an example here, but this is actually four millimeters, so I'm one millimeter short. But I do, ha I believe I have a three somewhere in my room. Uh, sorry, in my table, in my desk, and all my crap that I have here. But this is one example of what I think I'm going to do with it, depending on where on this kit I will do it so actually you know what let me um okay let me begin separating these so we can review these okay okay so here are all the parts that I've uh, separated the light the light green the dark blue the kind of a turquoise grayish color. Actually, to say the truth, this color is more in line to this color paint, the light blue. And this one's a mix of the orange, red, this is black, and the clear part. As always, I'm going to begin separating the, um, the remaining, uh, you know, the leftover plastic to clean it up and sand down. But before I begin that, I want to actually show you some of the photo etch parts that I have here. As a matter of fact, I just brought them all here so you guys can see it. Uh, and then we're going to plan it out and figure out what would be appropriate. We don't know. I'm not going to use all of them. We're just going to review. For the most part, I kind of like these parts right here, these little winglets. Um, I've seen I've seen an example, but I'm gonna have to review it again. These are 0.2 millimeter in size, and I think this is something that will definitely look good on the chest part, um, and also maybe the backpack. Don't know yet. The chest part it will be good, and also part of the um, as you see here on this promotional. Maybe I can shave that off and put that one up there. Put two there, 
and maybe two here. Something like that. That'll be a good idea. So I have these. It's a possibility. I got a lot of vents here. Now don't know how this will work on this kit with the vents. Um, I'm going to... Uh, this part here, which I think is... No, not this one. Still here. So this part here, we have this vent part. This, uh, this exposed part here. Actually, you know what? Now I'm going to see if there's an... Go into the leg, se leg section. So we have this part here. Whoops. That connects to this, which we're going to test fit it right now. So that goes there, and then of course there's another color there. So I don't think we're going to put the vents on that here. An idea would be... Well, it will always go in the front. I don't think the back... I'm sorry, it will always go in the back, not the front. And unlike my last kit that I use kit, uh, parts like the, you know, photo edge parts like these, um, there's no section here for me to put it. A small one could be put here up front and give it a little bit more detail, like an under detail type thing. That's a, that's a possibility. Because I got small ones like in this dimension. Um, six millimeter, five millimeter, four point three, and three point eight millimeters, and then we have these ten millimeters, twelve and eleven. And then we have these square ones. Um, I'm gonna have to like review them again in the back area once I, you know, begin assembly. So we're gonna look at that. Here are the circle ones, and here's some small ones. These are the ones with little vents, and I'm thinking maybe this would be perfect for the vents here for the uh, thrusters up front. This is, um, I, I really like these, and I don't know if it's big enough for this, because right now the biggest I have is 4 millimeter, and putting it there will be too small. Yeah. What about the arms? Do you have the parts for the arms? No, that's the foot. This one, here we go. We have this. And I believe I have something like this, because putting that here, it's really small. How small? I think my battery died. Oh, I think it did. Yay. Yeah, I might have to get a new battery thing. But if I open this up a bit, and maybe just get a rough estimate, it's... I believe... Wait, that's inches, that's millimeters. So that would be... Oh, now it turned on. Strange. No, th th these are too big. Sorry. I believe these has to be like... F it, it will barely fit it, so I can't probably use these. And I have this one, which is a solid one. And these can go all the way up to... 2.6 millimeters. These are these are the open hole ones, and these I was thinking of putting in in the grenades, but I could be wrong. These are four millimeters. 
these are solids. So, again, could be the grenades, could be something else, but not these. All right, let's just remove, review some more parts. The chest part that I was looking at, I was thinking of gutting that and maybe cutting this off and putting it there, but I think the the mesh will be a little too thick. So this I will not use. I have these Vulcan gun Vulcan uh, nozzles. These are 1.5 s 1.5 millimeters and 1.5 millimeters. So there's a oh the, these are the holes. So these I don't know if these will fit there. But try that. And these are regular, you know, cap things. I have these, but I don't know about the back, so I gotta work on that. If the small little holes can't fit there, I got 2.5 millimeters. But I think these are a little too big. I don't I have to actually to tell you the truth, it's right here. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. I can cut that and put that here. That's perfect. Good. We got that for this. Um, Alright, so I got 4 millimeter for these holes. These actually... Uh, I think this is the one I was referring to. That may go there, or I can use this, and that may go there for the grenades. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else. Everything else is like is not associated with it. I have more vents that you can think of here. But I think with what I have should be sufficient enough to detail this as best as I can. Um, and if I decide to make little holes along the, along the um, areas of you know like something here or here, make those little, and then put the little um, photo edge parts in there for the legs here, for this area there, for the forearm, um, and maybe something there as well. Don't know yet. So let's plan it out. Let's clean. It, it, there's many possibilities we can go with this, but let's flesh it out. And if something comes along the way, I will definitely try something new. Or not. Alright, so let me clean this up so we can see how this kit looks like fully built.